See that? That's a hundred percent. So I didn't back but a single one of these tiles. So how do you tell when you need to back butter and when you don't need to back butter? So I didn't back butter a single one of these tiles. Generally for a smaller tile, you are usually not going to have to back butter the tile, but sometimes you need to also back butter smaller tiles. So how do you tell when you need to back butter and when you don't need to back butter? If you had to back butter every single one of these tiles here, you'd be here forever. In some cases it might be necessary, but most times for a smaller tile, it's not. These tiles here, these subway tiles, the back is flat. So I don't need to back butter these tiles. So let me show you why when you're, you're installing a large format tile, like a 12 by 24 or even a larger tile or a natural stone tile, those tiles you should uh, back butter every time. But these smaller tiles, most of the time it's not needed. The trowel that I'm using, is actually a euro notch just going over the basics here so you always want to key in yourself straight don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell spread your pin set hold your trowel at about a 45 degree angle then you set your time press it in and then move it back and forward and then what you'll see here is that I'm gonna have 100% coverage see that that's a hundred percent because it's very easy to press the tile into the thin set and get get good coverage now you don't need to back part of these tiles because the transfer is really good because it's a small tile and you're gonna get good coverage as long as you use the right size trowel. When would it be advisable to back butter a small tile like this? Well, if a lot of these tiles, a lot of times they will have a deep pattern on the back. Uh, this is an eight by eight tile that I gotta be installing uh, in another bathroom. Um, but sometimes you can get these smaller tiles with these very deep patterns. If you've got a small, tile like this with a deep with a deep pattern on the back when you press that into the mortar it's you're going to struggle to get uh, the proper coverage because you're either going to need a deeper trowel to be able to push it all the way in and completely fill the pattern or more simply just back by the tile so now you get a flat back and you into the thin set so that's why sometimes you need to back butter a smaller tile like this so I just wanted to make a, uh, a point about um, back buttering because it seems like a lot of people say you have to back butter every single tile otherwise you're not going to get a, uh, a good adhesion, you're not going to get good coverage. No, that's not always true. Many times you don't have to back butter the tile. If you're not sure, just spread some thin set, uh, set a couple of tiles, pick them up, see what your coverage is and then you, then you should be good to go if uh, the tile is flat like this. Thanks for watching.